So the last learning objective of this module is mapping of view shed. What is a view shed? A view shed is uh, usually for a viewpoint and it's the area that is visible from a viewpoint. Um, or in other words, it's the area from where this point is visible. So it's based on line of sight and if this was the viewpoint on top of this tower or this could be a person standing in, in a small hilly terrain then this gray uh, dark or, or um, uh, thicker gray line represents the air the all of the points that are visible from this viewpoint and this dark line represents the points that are not visible from this point so view shed would th these gray points will form the view shed for this viewpoint and in natural terrain we often often run into this problem where uh, because of the elevations um, some of the points are hidden and in urban area we have the same situations because of the buildings and trees some of, not everything is visible from a given point so view shed is a very important tool um, to find all the points and areas that are visible from a given uh, viewpoint. Its, ver its applications are um, in, in several uh, ways. So in mountains, when we apply view shed for a given point, then that tells us what are the various points on the mountain that are visible. And it, it, it can have military applications for border patrol, and it also has tourism applications. So when you're doing on going on these scenic routes in various uh, national parks, you see um, certain points are designated as viewpoints, which means if you go to that point, you can see a large um, um, scenic view of that park. Um, for example, at the Grand Canyon or Zion National Park, and um, these viewpoints on the roads are actually created using a view shed um, tool that tells us what is visible from that point and the points are selected to make sure that the the tourist has the maximum uh, view of the, the 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 area of the interest the other application is in the urban air water, uh, view shed so in this case we are interested in what area is view from a given point. So in this case, there is a tower here. The green um, area represents all of the area that is view viewable from this point. And um, it's, it's important for us to know this because it could, there could be privacy issues in certain cases or security issues. And if it's a, if it's a tower such as stratosphere or space needle, then um, you also want to give the a tourist an opportunity to view most of the city. So um, it, it has a lot of urban applications as well. The other related application of view shed is the sun view shed um, or shading. In this case, we are interested in knowing what are the times and what are the places from where we can receive direct sunlight. And it could be of interest for uh, buildings, um, uh, and you have to fo follow certain building codes to make sure that if you are creating a building, it cannot prevent the previous users of that space um, in any way to be obstructed. So if I have, an ha if I have a house and I have a direct view of sun, um, I have the right to claim that as uh, as a condition when another person builds in my neighboring lot. The other application for this is if there is vegetation in the urban area, we have to make sure that we place that vegetation where it will be, um, uh, it, it will receive maximum sunlight during the day. And so these applications help us determine um, the times and space where sunlight is available, another application of view shed. 